Hi everyone, welcome to my live creative time today. My name is Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Papercraft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Welcome, welcome to another week of fun creativity. So um, if you are joining me live, you will see the red live button up in the top um, left hand corner. If you don't see that, then you are probably watching the replay. So thank you to all my replay warriors who come back and watch the replay. Um, if you are watching the replay, remember that you can always fast forward through all of the chat if you would like to. Um, if you don't want to listen to that, you can always rewind and replay uh, if there's bits that you wanted to go back over again or have another look at. Um, you always have that option as well. All right, now, while we're waiting for everybody to find their notifications that I have gone live, I'll bring this up on uh, my other devices so that I can see everybody's comments there. So let me get that ready for you. Here we go. And we'll get it up over here on um, my computer as well. So I will have it going in both places. So then if one shuts down, the other one is still available because that's usually what happens. <laughs> one will work and one will go, no, nah, not going to do it today. So let's just get it all sorted here. Make sure my volume is down on my other devices. Okay, iPad is all good. My um, computer froze earlier and um, I had to do a, um, what do you call it? A um, forced quit was my, oh, that's not the one I wanted. It was my um, photos app. I was looking for photos to print some of the flyers today to share some things with you. And uh, yeah, it just, it didn't like me clicking too much. <laughs> so um, if that happens sometimes. So I click, click too fast and the computer can't keep up. So it just goes, no, not going to do it. And it just freezes. Very frustrating, especially when you're in a hurry trying to get things done. All right. Well, I have a few things to share with you today before we jump into our projects today. Um, the first thing is um, we have now the October Tutorial Bundle. Now, the October Tutorial Bundle, this is a collaboration with the Crafty Collaborations Group. So I collaborate in this each month um, and we each create a project and um, share them uh, with each other that we could then put together or uh, there's a team of um, demonstrators that put them together into a um, bundle that we can then use as thank you gifts and also as gifts for our team. So um, you can get this from me for free when you purchase over $75 is my, in my online store. Now, if you already have a demonstrator that you're working with, or perhaps you are a demonstrator, or perhaps if you're overseas, um, you can uh, get your hands on this. It, it only costs 28 Australian dollars. So you can get in contact with me if you would like a copy of this and if you don't shop with me. Um, 28 Australian dollars. It will come in the form of a link to the PDF tutorial and then you can download it um, and it is yours to keep and there are 39 projects in this uh, tutorial bundle for October using all current Stampin' Up! products so um, that might be products from the annual catalogue, mini catalogue or from the online exclusive so you can see a little sneak peek there of some of those beautiful projects. Mine is this one here. Um, but yeah, so you get full PDF tutorials of each project. So I'm not sure how many pages. There's about um, three, three or four pages, depending on if people put in extra photos. Um, three or four pages for each project, for each tutorial. So it's a big bundle. Um, so it's great value at $28. Or free if you are uh, shopping with me and you spend over $75. That will be my thank you gift to you. And my team members always get a copy of this for free um, as a free team um, gift at the end of each month. So if you're part of my team, um, then that's one of the things that I do for my team as well. All right, the next thing is, oh, hi, Rose, how are you? Thank you for joining me today. Lovely to have you here. 
The next thing is I have um, my next card buffet coming up this month in October. It's going to be held on the 26th of October, but registrations are going to close on the 19th, which is this coming Saturday. So you've still got a few days to register um, if you are in the Sydney area. I'm in the western suburbs of Sydney, so if you are happy to travel to the western suburbs or if you're from out of town and you happen to be in in town or um, in my local area um, on that weekend, you are welcome to come and join us. You will need to let me know though, you'll need to register so that I can make sure I have enough kits for everybody. Um, card buffets are fun because we have so many different projects um, that you can create and um, we usually have eight to ten different projects and you can choose any four of those as part of your class um, to create those and then if you want additional ones to take home you can purchase additional kits as well to take home. Um, so it's lots and lots of fun. So I've already got some ladies that have registered. Seats are limited because I only have a certain number of seats. So um, if you are thinking about this class that you would like to come along to, please register um, soon so that you don't miss out because I've only got um, a few seats left. So yeah, it's only $25. Um, I do serve a light afternoon tea as well. So we have a little break. We have a cuppa. We have something yummy to eat. Um, that's all included in your class fee and it starts at 2 p.m. and usually goes till about 5. So um, if you want more information about that, then please let me know. What I will do though, while, I, um, while I'm here, is I will put um, the registration and all the other pathways if you want to go to any of my other social medias if you wanted to check out if you wanted to um, subscribe to my newsletter so you can stay up to date with all of the latest Stampin' Up! news. Um, I put creative inspiration in there and lots and lots of things um, that will always that will also be here as well. Um, oh actually here there we go. Uh, if you need um, if you wanted to get uh, have a look at the copy of the PDF, um, a PDF version of any of the catalogs, then that is there too. I'll right, just pop that in the comments. So you can click on that and then you can go to um, lots of different places anywhere you like, anything that you're looking for that I offer, um, including registering for um, the card buffet. So check in the comments for that. Um, on YouTube, I will put that in the details of the YouTube video when I upload that as well. So I'll get that uploaded later tonight, most likely. Okay. Um, the next thing is, this is the best deal at the moment, the starter kit special. This is an amazing special. So usually, um, so the starter kit is usually $169, which it still is at the moment. But for that $169, usually you get to choose $235 worth of product, which is still a great bargain. You're still getting freebies in that starter kit. But at the moment, you get to, ch uh, you get to choose $286 worth of product. So that means you're getting $117 worth of free product in your starter kit, which is amazing. Plus, you'll get free shipping which is valued at about $17.16. Um, you'll get that for free as well on this starter kit order. Now this runs till the end of October. So um, you've still got time. Uh, so plenty of time to register, but the starter kit special is always the best, the best deal in the catalog because not only do you get freebies when you purchase the starter kit and you get free shipping, you also get to join um, the crafty community. You get an ongoing 20% discount. Um, you can be as involved as you like in the crafting community, both in my team and in the wider Stampin' Up! Um, community, or you can sit back and um, just stay in the background if you prefer as well. Um, totally up to you. So if you would like more information about this and also what I offer my team, please feel free to get in contact with me. Um, if you have um, been part of Stampin' Up! before and you're interested in rejoining, that is, um, that's totally fine as well. You can do that. Um, if you are outside of Australia and you're looking for a demonstrator, there are lots of demonstrators all around the world. 
If you are looking for a demonstrator outside of Australia, let me know as well because I do have lots of friends all over the world um, who I can hook you up with. But if you're here in Australia, I'd love to have you as part of my team if you don't already have a demonstrator that you are working with. So um, feel free to ask me more questions about that. So it's a really easy process. It's been, um, Sampin Up has simplified the process. It's quite easy now to, um, to purchase that starter kit and to, to join up. Um, and there's no lock-in period. So you can leave at any time you like if you decide that it's not for you. There's no penalties. So um, they're not going to take your starter kit back off you or anything like that. Um, but if you do join, you will have guaranteed 20% discount until the end of April 2025. So it is a great time, and especially with Christmas coming up as well. Um, if you, you know, both for yourself and also for purchasing gifts for family and friends. Um, yeah, it's a really great time. And also too, if you like doing Christmas craft and um, you like making things for Christmas for your table or um, home decor items or something like that, and you love doing that with paper craft, then it's also a great time to join now so that you can get all of those products at a discount. So there you go. All right, so um, I could talk about the benefits of joining um, forever. There's just so many and uh, my life has just been enriched so beautifully and wonderfully since I joined. Um, and I'd love that for you as well. So um, yeah, so anyway, I will leave that with you and feel free to ask me more questions if you would like to find out more. Okay, the other thing we have too at the moment is our kids collection sale. Um, so the kids collection and any of those sale items you can also put in your starter kit as well if you are joining. Hi Glenda, great to have you here. Thanks for joining us today. Um, yes, yeah, so any of those sale items you can put in your starter kit um, and you still get the discounted price as well, which is fantastic. And it means you get more value um, in your starter kit if you're adding stuff that's on special as well. Also too from the clearance rack if there's anything from the clearance rack that's discounted or on special you can um, add that in also or any other current product. So starter kit, uh, sorry, kits collection sale runs until the end of October. Now I know that some of the kits are already um, have already become unavailable because they've been very popular and people have been buying them up um, taking advantage of this special offer and I did as well I grabbed a couple of kits um, that I had been wanting um, so we are going to create with one of those today one of the ones that are on a discount the one that I was going to create with initially I checked just before I went to go live and I'm like oh that one's gone now too it'll be coming back but not sure if it'll be back um, before the end of the sale so if you find that there is a kit um, if you're one of my customers and you do find that there is a kit that you wanted that is currently unavailable let me know because I can keep a close eye on that for you and let you know as soon as it becomes available so um, yeah so be sure to let me know if you want me to keep track of any particular kit for you because there's some beautiful kits in there there's kits for um, adults and children there's home decor items um, there's a game kit in there for the kids um, there's Christmas kits there's Christmas gift tag kits um, there's um, scrapbooking journal kits there's all sorts of things travel journal kits all sorts of things um, and I've got a few that I haven't opened and I've got a few that I have opened that I haven't finished that I need to that I need to finish so um, yeah now before we jump on in let me tell you about my little brooch today this is one of my new ones from the Australiana range from Erstwilder um, this is my little froggy now he is a I brought the little card that came with my Australiana um, brooches just so I could remember to tell you what type of frog he is He's a green and golden bell frog, otherwise known as Latoria aurea. So there you go. And this is the little box that he came in. It's got a picture of him on the back. Oops, upside down. My earrings are also from the same range and of the same collection. And I did wear these ones last week as well. Hey, Brenton, great to have you here. I wore these ones last week um, with my koala brooch, you might remember. Um, but I've got my kookaburras on again, and they go beautifully with my little froggy. And inside the lid, it, his name is Frodo, Frodo the frog. 
Frodo the frog leaps from leaf to leaf, croaking happily in the rain. With a smile that rivals Kermit's, this is one very jolly jumper. <laughs> and um, the designer of this collection is uh, Carmen. I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. It's H U I B Who? Who? Hui? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But that's that's the designer of this collection. So that's my little that's my little Frodo, the uh, the green and golden bell frog. Isn't he just beautiful? <laughs> so there we go. So a little show, a little bit of show and tell today. You love my froggy Glenda. He's pretty cute, isn't he? I love frogs. I especially love green frogs and green tree frogs. Um, and I'd not heard of this type of frog before. So. Um, this is a, a species in Australia. So there you go. Have you heard of that before? The, the green and, what's it called again? Green and golden bell frog. Has anybody heard of that type of frog before? Does anyone know much about frogs? I don't know a whole heap about frogs, apart from they come from tadpoles. <laughs> um, and they like, they like the, the uh, moisture and the, the wet weather. I know that much. All right. So I have got two kits here today. Well, actually, what we'll do is we will um, tip the camera down onto the desktop. Let me know about your weekend. I forgot to ask how your weekend was. Um, forgive me for forgetting to ask that. How was everybody's weekend? Share with me in the comments um, something that you got up to on the weekend. Let me know. So we had uh, family over last night. My son and his wife came for dinner last night and that was really lovely. And we got to watch their wedding video. Oh, I cried again, of course. <laughs> it was so beautiful. And then they gave me a copy. So yeah, so, so special um, just to relive it all. And also too on the video was um, footage of them getting ready in the morning as well. So that was really special because I hadn't seen anything from that part of it because my son didn't get ready here he was staying in a hotel with his um best man and groomsman the night before that was closer to the church and so I didn't see him getting ready in the morning um and uh yeah so that was really really special to sit and watch that with them last night so lots of happy tears and yeah so it was really beautiful um, we were going to have a games night but they surprised us with that so we did that and then we, we looked at some photos and things. So, yeah, um, it was a really lovely night. And Saturday, oh, and then earlier in the day, <clears throat> I'd been to, Amber and I went to church in the morning and then we hung around and had, had a chat for a little while um, with some of our friends there. And then we went and did a bit of running around, a bit of shopping um, needed some more storage crates, went to, where else did we go? We went to Officeworks, Abco, and then um, to get some party stuff for, because it's my other daughter's birthday coming up this weekend. She's coming home for the weekend from Queensland, so that'll be lovely. Um, and then we went to Kmart as well. So we did quite a bit of running around on the weekend, and I can't even remember what I did on Saturday. Oh, Saturday was our team gathering. That's right. Saturday I spent the afternoon with my beautiful team and um, one of my team members uh, demonstrated to us how to make a little cube box. So it was a three by three inch cube box and uh, so we all made those. So that was really fun. Um, we celebrated my team and their, and their wonderful recognitions and I caught them all up with all the Sampin Up news, which we do every month. So um, that's something special that we do. So that was my weekend in a nutshell. <laughs> Let's have a look. Okay, we've got some comments here. Um, Glenda said, I used to have lots lots of frogs at your old place before you moved. Oh, lovely. Were they the green tree frog variety or were they the standard brown frogs? We occasionally get the little brown frogs here, but just the little small ones. Um, usually out near our retaining wall where there's, I guess the retaining wall probably holds a lot of moisture. So, because it's a, um, a block retaining wall. And they tend to like to sit on there. Um, Brenton said, I had the Legally Blonde musical start. So that's been a very busy weekend. Oh, fantastic. Are you in that? Are you are you performing in that, Brenton? Or are you part of the stage, like part of the stage crew? Or what's your involvement with that? That sounds like a lot of fun. 
Um, oh, Glenda, yes, you had the big green frogs. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, they're so cute, aren't they, frogs? So long as they're not cane toads, they're not very cute. <laughs> they're not very cute at all and you do not want to go near them. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, you're doing the makeup and wigs. Oh, fantastic. How exciting. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. I used to love my only, um, my only, what would you say, experience, I suppose, in stage productions is when the kids were at school, the girls used to be in the annual, um, uh, like a Steadfords, like school of Steadfords. And so I would often be on the crew, the, back, the uh, background crew with that, helping with props and costumes and all of that was so much fun. I've not done it on a broader scale than that, but some of these productions were big. They would go and, um, uh, yeah, it was like a comp big a Stedford competition between all the different schools. So it was a big, a big gig. Um, and we did some, they performed at the Sydney Entertainment Centre before that was pulled down. Um, and they performed all, all different sorts of places with it. So yeah, that was really fun. I loved being involved in that. So I could only imagine, Brenton, the excitement. How cool. Um, Glenda said, one of the frogs was as big as the palm of your hand. Oh my goodness, that's huge. Aww. And Rose said, we had frogs that climbed our kitchen window at night to get the moths that were attracted to the light. Oh, cute. That would be that would be really fun, like opening your blinds and seeing or your curtains and seeing a big frog there on your window. <laughs> I would imagine when you first, like if you pulled back the curtains, you'd be sort of like, whoa. And then you'd be like, oh, he's really interesting. <laughs> I love their little sticky pad feet. Aren't they just the cutest? How they, they've got the little, the little sticky pads on their feet. Aw, so cute. We had, um, I'll tell you this last thing and then we'll get crafting. Um, when my children were young, very young, we used to have an animal farm that would was a mobile animal farm that used to do kids' parties, and we had them come to our house and do um, a couple of the children's parties when they were really little. And um, there was a green tree frog that Amber absolutely loved, and it was so yeah, it was really really cute frog. But when it it went to move like in her hands. I don't know if it was going to jump or it was just readjusting, but it frightened her. And ever since then, she's not liked frogs, but she liked them up till that point. <laughs> so, and she used to have like a, a wall freeze, like a, a picture, like a, yeah, of the jungle and it had frogs on it. And she always liked the frogs in that um, until she got the fright when the, the frog wanted to jump away. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, I've always loved frogs. All right, well, let's get crafting. I'm just going to have a cup of my French Earl Grey from T2 in my beautiful Stampin' Up mug. I noticed there are still a couple of colours. I think there's two colours left in these mugs. I think it was Sweet Sorbet and is it Lemon Lime Twist? It was one of the greeny, one of the bright greeny colours. And I was thinking I might get a couple more myself, actually, in my next order and just put them aside because I love these... Um, these thermal mugs, they are fantastic and they keep your tea or coffee hot for the longest time. I actually added a little bit of cold water to mine just before I came on here live because I thought I'm going to burn my mouth off again if I don't. <laughs> All right, let's get crafting, everybody. Who's crafting along with me today? Let me know, let me know. They are great, aren't they? Yes. I agree, Brenton. So, who's crafting along with me today? Are you crafting or are you just sitting back and watching? Excuse all the squeaks for a moment while I just tighten all of my clamps up here so that my phone doesn't droop and drop. Put that down a bit lower. That's straightened and leveled. I need like a little level you know one of those spirit levels? I need a spirit level in here so that I can use it to get my um, my camera straight each time. Sometimes it takes a bit of, oh, tweaking. Yeah, and you know what? I forgot to flip my camera. My, my um, hang on. I'm going to have to do this upside down now. Wait a sec. Flip, flip. Sorry about that, everybody. I forgot to flip it today. There we go. Now we're up the right way. Give that a little bit of a tweak. That straighten that up a little bit. 
There we go. All right, good. <clears throat> These lights don't seem so bright on my desk today. Let me bring them down a little bit. All right, now, if you like anything that I show or that I'm using today, <clears throat> I'm using current product that you can find in my online store. And you can find that either via my blog, which is mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com. Um, most of my projects that I create in my um, Facebook Lives, I do put over on my blog with all the information about the products that I use. Um, if it's a project <clears throat> that I've created from scratch, I'll have all of the measurements and everything there for you. Um, so feel free to go over. If ever you're looking for some creative inspiration, feel free to go over to my blog. <clears throat> Excuse me, now I've got a frog in my throat. <clears throat> Speaking of frogs. Um, feel free to go to my blog and have a look around over there. There's also links there to the current catalogs if you're looking for um, catalogs. Also, you can subscribe to my newsletter via my blog um, so you can stay updated and get creative inspiration through my, um, my newsletter as well. Um, there is free tutorials um, for those who subscribe to my newsletter, etc., etc. You can also find my online store via my um, Stampin' Up! website as well. And also, too, if you were interested in um, that starter kit offer um, and you would like to join um, with my team, you can also find the joining link in both of those places as well, both via my blog and my Stampin' Up! website. So um, feel free to go to either of those. If you are shopping with me this month, this is my October host code. So be sure to use that when you're shopping with me. And as I mentioned earlier, if your order is over $75, um, you will receive as your thank you gift the October tutorial bundle, which has 39 project tutorials in it. And if you're not um, one of my customers and you would like to get your hands on this, um, it, whether or not you're a demonstrator or if you shop with somebody else but you would like to get your hands on this, you can purchase it for $28 Australian dollars. So if that's something you're interested in, just flick me a message um, or an email and um, yeah, and I can get that sorted for you. All right, so the kits I have today, I've got two kits and these ones are both in the specials today. I've got the Christmas Wishes kit, which I've been wanting to... Um, get started on I got this one just in my order last week I think but I wanted to be I want have been wanting to share this one um, so we're going to start with that one and then if we have time I also have the forever friends kit now this one's been around for a while and I've had it for a little while but I haven't actually used it yet so I thought if we get time and this one has been away with me and come back untouched as well so <laughs> I've really got to get this one done. Um, but if we don't get that one done today, hopefully we'll get that one done, um, I don't know, sometime soon. But we're going to start with the Christmas Wishes kit. So this is one of the newer kits. It just came out last month, I think it was, in September. So this one comes wrapped in plastic. that out of the way and these boxes are awesome because they are great for storing things um, storing your craft items storing other things they're also great for gift boxes we use them a lot um, for gift wrapping so um, we put the gift in here and then we wrap the box up and then people don't know what the present is which is really exciting because it's in like a box so and often we will pad it out with um, you know, some shreddy or some tissue paper or something. But yeah, they make great boxes. And if you didn't want to wrap it, you could actually cover this up, the logo up with um, some designer series paper or some cardstock and you can decorate the front uh, or the top, I should say, the lid and um, decorate the box, put some ribbon on it perhaps. Yeah, and you can decorate it up and make it really pretty. All right, now this is a stamping kit. So it has stamping as part of the kit. So we have an ink spot, which is Pretty Peacock. Um, now I like to save my ink spots um, to use them as gifts. So I'm going to keep that one aside and I'm gonna pull out my Pretty Peacock stamp pad because that's the one I'll use today. 
um, but it does come with the, the ink pad. We've got a stamp set here as well. We've got some sentiments and greetings. Um, this one says, may whatever brings you love and joy be yours this season and throughout the, year, the new year. That's a beautiful sentiment for inside of the card. You could put it on the outside of a card too if you wanted to, but that's a lovely one. I love those greetings that you can put on the inside of cards because then it means I don't have to write as much. <laughs> I'm always lost for words when I come to write on the inside of a card. Can anybody else relate to that? <laughs> um, we've also got a large Merry and then we've got Christmas and we've got Wishes and then we've got those two leaves there as well, a larger one and a smaller one. So we'll be using some of those today. All right, this is our, um, hang on, let's tip the box up, get our kit out. I'll just move the box away. All right, this is our, um, the rest of our kit products and they are all bundled up together. We've got the instruction booklet on the back there. So we'll be sure to open this up. This is the Christmas wishes kit. It also comes in French, German and Dutch, I think it is. So let's open this up. And the great thing about, hang on, we'll go this end. The great thing about the Stampin' Up! kits is that everything you need to create the project is in the kit. Um, the only other thing you'll need, often need is like a pair of snips, because one, you need to open up the packet, and two, you might need to cut twine or you might want to cut the, um, the tear and tape, even though it is tear and tape and it does tear. Some of us prefer to cut the tape. Um... I think there's one kit that's in there, which is a home decor piece, which is one that I've got up on my display board that sits behind me um, that you need a hot glue gun for. But I also found that I didn't use a hot glue. I used tacky craft glue, that clear, um, really thick tacky craft glue. My mum used to use it a lot in her crafting and patchwork and um, she used to do a lot of work with fabric and things like that, um, fabric flowers and things, and it used to stick all of those things. I used that, and it worked really well. But with this one, you get all of the adhesives. So we have some tear and tape in here, which is awesome. I love tear and tape. I am very much a tape girl, and that's all I ever used to use. I never even used to use glue. I used to do everything with tape um, until not that long ago. Now I use a lot more glue. We've got a clear block. So we're going to um, use that one. Now I do have, I this one is still wrapped in plastic, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna keep that one as well with this as a gift um, because I've already got a whole stack of blocks, of course, because I'm always stamping. So I've got the Stampin' Up blocks, but I've also got a spare kit block here that I had out as well. So we'll use that one instead today. So pop those to the side. We've got some Stampin' Dimensionals, which are the large ones. So that's awesome. That's our 3D foam to pop things up and give them a bit of, bit of a lift. We've got, oh my goodness, these envelopes. They're gorgeous. They are so shiny gold. Can you see that? They're gold on the inside as well as the outside. And I believe that there are labels, which must be these ones, these are the labels to put on the front to put your address, to, to do your address, write your address on there. So, yeah, so they are stunning. Oh, my goodness, they're beautiful. So shiny and shimmery. And then all the labels, I think, are the same. Yep. So this kit makes, how many cards have we got in this one? Is it eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This kit makes eight cards. Okay, and then we've got, oh, let, let's get our instructions from off the bottom. So this is our instruction sheet. And you've got all the step-by-step -step instructions there in picture form. You've got the ruler along the side here. So if you don't have a ruler with you or you're traveling and you don't carry a ruler, um, you've got centimeters and inches. Um, that's often for twine, if there's twine um, in or twine or ribbon in the kit and you need to measure the length and they'll always tell you how much and they'll give you the measurements in both inches and centimeters. It shows you where to use the tape and when to use the um, stamp and dimensionals. Um, 
Yeah. And then the back shows you all the different pieces that are in the kit, how many it makes, and then there's some QR codes to some videos if you want more information. And it also gives you all the coordinating colors. Okay, so we'll use that in a moment. Um, something new that Stampin' Up! is doing now, because the stamps don't come on a printed sheet, they used to come on a black printed sheet, um, but they don't come on a black printed sheet anymore. So what Stampin' Up! do is they now include a, a pre-printed piece that you can keep with your stamp set so that you know exactly um, which stamps are in the stamp set. And we've got them in the different um, languages as well. We've got French and oh French and German. Yep. Okay, so I'm not sure if this one comes in Dutch as well. We'll probably see when we get through to the um oh well this one's a stamping one, so this one's the English version. Yep. So I'll cut that off and I'll keep that with the stamp set. Alright. We've got some beautiful card bases here. Now there's two different designs in this um, in this. Ah, that's the other side. So I was thinking, hang on a minute. I was looking at the pictures here and I'm like, I didn't see any that had white on the front, but that's actually the inside where you can stamp that beautiful greeting, that one that that message that I read out to you, this one. But this is actually the front with that gold foiling. It's that beautiful. What colour is that red? Let's see. What have we got? Old Olive, Pecan Pie, Poppy Parade. Is that red? Pretty Peacock and Gold. So we've got four of those ones. They are just gorgeous. It tricked me because some of them were up the other way. Or I flipped it over the other way, I think. So we've got four of those card bases. We've got some labels for stamping our sentiment. We've got, oh, we've got this printed on the inside of the other ones as well. Oh, they had the first, they had them. Okay, so this is how they are in the box so that you can see that they're printed on the inside as well with that beautiful gold frame and the little leaf. But this is the outside. Yeah, that's why it tricked me. There we go. See, I'm learning with you all. We've got some little um, printed die cut pieces there for the cards. So we've got, how many sheets of those have we got? Oh, we've got four sheets of those. Wow. Got four sheets of those. And then we've got some more labels here as well. Now, are they different to the other labels or are they the same? Um, they are, they're the same labels, but we've got more of the, rectangles on this one and only one of the banners so is that in is that one or two there I'm trying to work that out oh i think there's two yep there's two there two there and what's this one this one's just one yep okay so we've got three sheets of labels okay and then you've got your cardboard piece so if you are traveling um it's good to have this because one it helps to keep your box strong and stable to keep all your um, craft supplies in there protected but also too you can use that to stamp on if you are out and about or if you're traveling or whatever you can actually use that cardboard piece to stamp on i won't use that because i've got my desk so all right let's pull out all of the pieces for these projects all right i've got my adhesives i'm going to pop them over there i'll put my stamps over to this side and let's see all right so here on this page it shows us what we need for each of the projects okay so let's pull out the supplies for one of each of those projects i have to move a few things here hang on one sec move my keyboard out of the way move those over all right so we need one of those let me move this over so you can all see one of those and one of those okay that's our bases then oh we're going to need an envelope for each of those envelope envelope and a label for each of those envelopes so that's these ones here 
they are stickers actually so that's good that makes our our life easy all right then for this one we need how's that light that light's reflecting a little bit isn't it that's a bit annoying i'll move that up a tad um okay so for this one we need two of these them out so one two they pop out so easily these and they're nice they're a nice um heavyweight cardstock too plus we need two of the flat uh, the leaves so we'll punch those out one two there we go and we need three of the labels so three of these ones now i often like to stamp my labels when they're still in um this background piece so they don't slide around too much but these labels are fairly a fairly good size so i feel happy to pop these ones out before i stamp on them and usually with the labels um stampin up will include some additional labels in here in case you have any stamping boo-boos because we all do that um, and it shows us which stamps we're going to need to use for each project. So we'll get to that. All right. Now for this one, we've got those bits and, oh, and we basically need the same. So we need two, two more of these. One, oops, I nearly bent that one watch what I'm doing I looked away for a moment as I was popping it out hey Julie how are you great to have you here there we go and we need the two leaves again as well so that's easy this is a really easy kit for um, new card makers as well so yeah it also makes a great gift if you've got someone whose birthday maybe falls Within the next couple of months, this would make a great gift for them as well. And then they can make handmade, beautiful handmade um, Christmas cards. All right. And this one, we need one of those banner um, labels. One of these ones. Hey, Dimity, how are you? Great to have you here. How are you feeling today? There we go. Okay, so that's all of our pieces, and then we'll have to do, we'll have to um, do our stamping. All right, and then we need, of course, the ink and the stamps and the adhesives. All right, let's start with. Let's have a look. All right, we'll start with um, this one, the Merry Merry Merry. That is the stripy one here. Okay, so I'll put this one over to the side for a moment. I'll come back to that one, and we'll start with this one. Now let's find that one. It's this one here, the stripy one. Okay. All right, we're going to do some stamping first. Now let's just see, does it show us about the envelope? Um, oh, yeah, okay, that's going to be in the later steps. Okay, because basically the envelope is just, you just stick the, the label, the address label on the front, and then you can write on it. Um, but we'll get to that. That's kind of, they're showing that kind of at the end. So it doesn't matter. I guess you could do that bit at the beginning or at the end. It doesn't really matter. But let's do the card part first. We'll follow the instructions step by step in the, um, the order that they do them in. All right, now let's find our stamps here. We're going to use the large Merry. We're going to be stamping that three times. Now, these stamps are brand new. They haven't been used yet. So we're going to need to give them a clean before we use them. We need to condition them a little bit. Um, they come with a bit of manufacturing oil on them and it tends to repel the um, ink. So we need to condition them a little bit before we use them. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to pop that down onto my cardstock so you can see that it will slide around. That lets the photopolymer relax into its natural shape. So that we're not accidentally stretching it funny or, you know, unless you particularly wanted to have it arced or something like that, then you could. But we want it straight. So we'll just let it relax into its natural shape. And then we're going to take the block. So we've got it face down as if you would be stamping with it. The flat part of the stamp is 
face up and we're going to take the block to the stamp and pick that up okay so i've got that a little bit crooked on the block but it doesn't matter i'll line it up when i'm stamping okay now as i said it come the kit comes with a pretty peacock um, stamp and spot but i'm actually going to use my large ink pad instead okay oh you're feeling good dimity that's good to hear good to hear that you're feeling a lot better okay now the first thing oh we've got to condition our stamp let's do that and you know what i forgot to get i forgot to get my um grid paper so i'm just going to grab um a little piece of scrap paper that i just had over there i'll move that for the moment what we're going to do is we're going to clean our stamp first and i'm using my simply chamois so i'm just going to give it a good scrub on there round and round sideways all the directions okay and then i'm going to stamp it on the paper and i'm also going to give just a little twist just to remove any of those oils that might be there and you might want to give it a second clean and then just make sure it's nice and dry before you take it to the ink pad because otherwise um yeah that'll dilute the ink as well all right so it's showing us that we're going to stamp mary on three labels so let's do that i'm going to do them one at a time let's see how we go Oop. okay i'll move my ink pad over here so you can see it so we're just going to tap 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 on there i'm just having a look at the stamp to make sure i've got a good ink coverage we want to line that up in the middle as best we can to try and get that nice and straight press it down nice firm pressure don't rock your stamp just hold it there for a moment to let that ink transfer and there we have it beautiful all right so we're going to do two more of those so tap 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 when you're inking up your stamp never press your stamp heavily into your ink pad because what will happen is you'll get like a little halo around your stamped image and that can create smudges on your um, cardstock so just be careful not to do that okay so we'll press that firmly beautiful that's our second one hey leslie how are you you're a little bit late that's okay not a problem yes you can always go back and watch the replay of the the um the start to see what you missed we we, we had uh, chats about frogs today there we go so we'll press that down there we go beautifully beautiful uh, beautiful i was going to say that stamp stamps beautifully all right so we'll close that up now we're going to clean that um, stamp straight away. And we're going to do some more stamping now with the, so that's step one. Um, oh, actually part of step one as well is to put dimensionals on the backs of each of those. So let's do that now. Let's make sure I don't put that in that ink that I just put on there. All right, we're going to put three dimensionals on the backs of each one of these. Now you can easily, easily use your hands to pull those off and apply them. I like to use my take your pick multi-purpose tool though. For me, it's much quicker to do it that way. And also too, I can more control exactly where I want to put my dimensionals now these dimensionals i can feel that they feel a little bit thicker or higher in dimension than our standard dimensionals so if you are combining the regular dimensionals that we can purchase from the catalog and the online store with ones that come from kits just be mindful of the height difference sometimes these kit ones are a bit higher in dimension so just check that before you um go ahead and start mixing if you're um yeah, if you're using them on projects, because we always have some of these left over from our kits. Stampin' Up's very generous and always gives us plenty of extras. All right, so now we're going to stamp. Um, all right, so we need um, the large sentiment and the leaf. Now, I wonder which leaf it is, because there's the two sizes. I'm thinking it's going to be the smaller one. Yes, it'll be the smaller one, because we're stamping... 
Are we just stamping both? Oh, we're gonna we are gonna stamp both. We're doing the small leaf on this side, so on here, plus we're doing the small leaf on the inside of the card as well over here to give detail. Now they are beautiful as they are. You can certainly use them as they are, but by adding a little bit of detail with the stamp here, um, you'll see the difference. It's going to really bring them up beautifully. So let's, I'm just going to take the plastic completely off that because we're going to keep taking stamps on and off. And I'm going to grab some of my extra blocks that I have. Again, I'll put my stamp down because we want to make sure these ones are in their um, proper shape and not stretched out of shape because they need to match up with the leaves that are already pre-printed. Excuse me, reaching over. I didn't get my extra blocks out earlier because I didn't realize I was going to need them. We'll get the other leaf as well. And we'll do the same, pop that down, pick it up. And my Merry, I'll put that one back on the sheet and I'm going to grab the large sentiment and we'll give all of those a clean at the same time. Just being a bit careful taking this one off. There we go, pop that down onto our paper, let it relax, and then pick it up. All right, let's give those all a clean. Now, if you don't, oh, hey, Vicky, how are you? Great to have you with us. If you don't have a Simply Chamois, you can use baby wipes. If you are using baby wipes, um, make sure that you're using ones that are low in lint because you don't want those little bits of lint um, <laughs> squeaky squeaky sorry about that you don't want those little bits of lint getting caught in amongst your um, stamp because they will alter um, how your stamp stamps the image um, or you can use a damp chucks or a microfiber cloth or something like that if you if you um, have those as well and then that way they can be rinsed out and reused wait which one did I just clean did I clean the leaf or did I clean the I did that one did I do that one which one did I just do? I can't remember if I did that one or if I did the sentiment. I think I did the sentiment, didn't I? <laughs> what did I just do, everybody? I was busy talking and not paying attention. Did I do this one? Did I clean this one? I can't even remember. Oh, yes, I did, I think, didn't I? Because it was squeaky. That's right. Okay, they're all clean. Right. Now, little leaf. We're going to start with the little leaf and... Our pretty peacock ink so we're just going to ink this up now if you're using the ink spot the best way for you to ink that up is to take the ink spot um, take the lid off obviously and turn the ink spot upside down and go tap 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 over the top of your um, stamp okay because it's a little bit too small for to go like that it's better to do it the other way around so you can get an even ink coverage. But because I've got a larger ink pad, I'm able to take my stamp to my ink pad. All right, and then we're going to stamp over the top of that, um, that leaf image there. Now I'm trying to get my head in over the top so I can see where I'm stamping. I don't have my glasses on. Wait on. Let me put my glasses on. Oh, I did clean the sentiment. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Leslie. I ended up doing it twice. Um, so we're just going to stamp over the top there like that. Okay. Oh, I stamped it a little bit off. It's very hard to get your head in over the top of the um, the stamped image with the camera overhead. Or the I've got my iPhone overhead. Now, we'll leave that there for a minute because we've got to stamp the big one too. Let's see if I can line it up better with this one. No, I'm off again. I can see. Ah, I can see exactly where I went off, but that's okay. That's all right. This can be my practice one. <laughs> oh, good. All right, so we'll leave that over to dry. Now we're going to do, whoops, come back here, you. We'll do the large one. See if I can line this one up a bit better. If I bring it down closer to me. And maybe I can line it up a bit better. 
there we go that one I lined up much better so brought it just that little bit closer okay so now you can see the detail look at the difference between the one that's got the stamping and the one without the stamping it just gives that added detail doesn't it it just takes it to the next level so there you go okay and um, we're going to need to do that on both of them actually aren't we because we've got two of those so let's do that bring that back down close to me again sorry everyone if my head is in camera there we go I did a better job that time good good and we'll do the large one what I love too about these kits is that you have the stamps um, that you can do other projects with afterwards as well. You've got the stamps and the ink and you can create your own projects. That one's a little bit off again, but that's okay. Yeah, so I love that. Now, we've also got some leaves in um, these ones too. So we're going to stamp those as well. So that's these ones here. So we're going to stamp them as well. I think they're the larger one. Yep. Now, if I was doing these not on camera, I would probably be flying through them a lot quicker and not be not trying to be as fussy with the stamping. But because I'm doing it on camera, I'm trying to do my best for you. <laughs> line that up oh I didn't line that one up very well at all didn't have my head over the top you probably see all my my beautiful gray hair as I do that <laughs> there we go all right so they're all done all right I just tap off the extra or the excess ink I've got a little bit of over stamping on that one over inking I should say and we've got to stamp the sentiment on the inside so we'll just move that away so we've got this sentiment and we'll stamp that in the center here of I'll try and line that up oh i think i need more ink i think that started to repel a little bit there we go beautiful look at that I love that then we just have to do a to and from oh, there is space to write an extra little message on the bottom if you'd like to sorry I was stamping that a little bit off the um, off screen then but isn't that beautiful all right well we'll let that dry for a moment while we clean all this up We'll stamp that one off. So this one does have a fair bit of stamping in it. But it's not that difficult. The most difficult thing is trying to line these up. But if you take your time, get your head right over the top of the image, um, it's a lot easier. And if you haven't got a camera in front of your face <laughs> that's getting in the way, it makes it so much easier than that. Lena how are you lovely to have you here all the way from Canada oh fantastic thank you so much for joining us what time is it over there in Canada at the moment must be quite late at night I would think here we go all right so they're all nice and clean okay so now we can get on to the construction all right, so we're going to put some tear and tape on the backs of these two um, floral images. So we've done finished all of our stamping. Now we're just going to construct. So we'll close up our card. I'm going to just burnish um, the edge with my bone folder. I'm actually going to turn it over onto the back, the reverse side to do that, just so that I don't damage any of that gold. Well, it's not damaging, but... I just always worry that I'm going to wreck the gold or any printing that's on the front. There we go. Okay. So that bit's done. All right. And then we're going to put tear and tape on the back of these two. Okay. So here's our roll of tear and tape that came in the kit. It's a small roll of tear and tape. 
and it says just to put it across um, diagonally but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece across here and I'll just grab my other my other snips that I've got my little charms on these this pair of snips I know that this is my um, tape cutting scissors because they can get a little bit sticky and I'll pop that piece down there And we'll put another piece on here. And another piece here. Now, if I was using glue, I would probably glue, put glue on the entire thing. Um, but we're just following the kit um, layout at the moment. All right, so we've got these ones and these ones. Now, let's see. Just going to go back to the front to have a look at okay so that they're going to be added behind I see okay so these two extra pieces they're going to be layered behind that last one okay so at the moment we're just putting these two pieces like this how's the lights going I'll bring them over a bit more now okay all right so let's remove that tear and tape Oh, 11 p.m., Lena. Oh, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. You must be a bit of a night owl like me, Lena. <laughs> I'm usually up quite late every night. It's lovely to have you join us. All right, so we're just going to pop these down like so. So this is anyone who has joined us since I started. This is the the Christmas wishes kit that I'm putting together um, just now. This is one of the ones that's on special in the uh, kits collection sale. All right, and then this one is going up this way. Is that correct? Yep, that's right. So we put that there like so. Okay, now we're going to take two of the Merrys that we we stamped earlier and we put the dimensionals on. And we're going to put them over the top of those. Now I want to make sure that I've got room for my one that's going to go in the middle. So I'm going to kind of line these up. Have a look again at the front picture. Yep, so the, there is a bit of a gap between them but I'm going to make sure that I've got space between them to line them up and they're going sort of just sort of centered them um, center them left to right there we go I'll do the bottom one Now the middle one I'll just leave floating. It's not stuck yet. I'm just going to leave that floating so that I can line these up a little bit. Let's line them up like that. Oops, 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 oops. Don't stick yet. Don't stick yet. So pop that one about there. I don't know if I've got that straight. It's a bit hard to tell with the uh, the diagonals if I've got that straight or not. I'm thinking not. Whoops. Let's line that up a bit better. There we go. Okay, so those two are stuck. Now we'll turn the page. Now we're going to add tear and tape to um, these pieces, these leaf pieces. Now, if I was creating this from scratch, I would probably add dimensionals to these. But, oh, well, no, we can't because we're putting the, um, we've got the dimensionals on the Mary. So, but you can change it up. You can, you can always change any of these cut kits up any way that you like. You don't have to follow the instructions step by step. 
In fact, a lot of um, demonstrators, they do step them up and they, um, they change the design of them. They make alternatives. Um, Rachel Tessman in the USA, she is great at doing that. So, oh, you are a night owl, Lena. Yeah, I think a lot of us crafters are, aren't we? Yeah, I I like, um, I find I get a lot more done in the evenings when everybody's sort of gone to bed. I seem to be more productive. There's less distractions. There we go. So we're just taking those leaves up onto that first Merry Sentiment banner there. And we're going to do the same the other way. So we'll do the same over here. Just overlap those. Like that. And then this one. Okay, now I see why they say use um, tear and tape. Because this one has already got the stamp and dimensionals on it. And it, the this one's going to go over the top of those. Now it makes sense. All right, so then that's going to go over there. We'll kind of line that up between those other two labels to try and make sure that our spacing is about right. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Such a beautiful card. All right, now we're going to do the envelope. So here's our beautiful shimmery gold envelope. And we've got our labels here. Now, it's up to you if you want to write on your labels first, if you want to address them first before putting them on your um, project. Oh, sorry, on your envelope. Totally up to you. And I guess in the photo it shows having the berries and the leaves at the bottom, but if you wanted to, you could certainly have them coming down from the top too. It's up to you which way you prefer to have them. I'll do them the same way as the instructions. I'm just going to stick that in the middle there. And then we can write our, our, the address of the recipient. Oh, I didn't get that quite in the middle, did I? It doesn't matter. Um, so there we go. So there is our first project. Isn't that beautiful? Such a beautiful kit. This is really, really lovely. This is a really nice Christmas kit. So there you go. So it didn't take too long to do. There is a little bit of stamping to be done in this one. Um, but and, I, and now you can really tell the difference with having that stamping on top of those leaves. If you didn't want to do the stamping, you could certainly leave them as they were, but it really does bring out the detail in them. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's move on to the second one. We already pulled out all of our pieces for that one. And we're going to use some of the different um, stamps this time. We're going to use Christmas Wishes. So I will, and we're going to use that sentiment stamp again on the inside. So I'll just take the leaves off here for the moment. Oh, I've got a hair on my, there we go, I've got it. I had a hair on my, um, my face tickling me. All right, uh, Christmas wishes. Now, with the Christmas wishes sentiment, it is a long sentiment, so it is easy to manipulate. It's very pliable. So what we're going to do is, especially with this one, get my scrap paper. I'm going to lay it face down on the paper, oops, just to let it relax into its natural shape. Because see how it's not sticking? Now, if I put that down on my desk, because my desk has got a little bit of a shiny, shinier finish to it, I could actually manipulate that and bend that out of shape before putting it on my block. But I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that it's nice and straight. So always make sure you put it down on a piece of paper or a piece of cardstock. Just let it relax. And then take your block to your stamp and pick it up that way. Okay. So we're going to do the same with the wishes. And we'll give them a clean and condition them a little bit first too before we use them. Let that relax. Pick it up. We'll pop our envelope over to the side again like we did before. All right, let's give these stamps a quick little clean. Little squeaky clean. Give it a stamp and a bit of a twist to help remove that oil that comes on from the manufacturing. If you 
have a microfiber cloth um, with water on it. They are really great for cleaning these too because... Or if you've got a stamp and scrub, stamp and scrub from Stampin' Up, they're really great to clean your stamps the first time as well because they've got those fibers in them and they really give them like a deep clean. So you can do it that way as well if you prefer. All right, instructions. We are going to stamp Christmas wishes on our sentiment banner. Now, I don't think it matters which way this goes because I think it's the same both ways. Oh, actually, no, it's not. This part is a little bit, look, it wouldn't really probably matter, but for me, I'm looking at the picture and this part is longer and at more of an angle than this part here. So this end that's at more of an angle in the picture, they've got it up that way with that very sharp angle or the long angle going to the left. Okay, so I'm going to do mine the same way that they show it in the picture. Hey Fee, how are you? It is a lovely kit, isn't it, Lena? It's really beautiful. Have you tried this one? It's really lovely. I'm very impressed with this kit. This is the first time I've used it. And um, yeah, I'm very impressed with it. It's really lovely. All right, so we're gonna stamp out Christmas in there. Beautiful and our wishes. Now in the kit, there are four of each of these cards to be created. I'm just doing one of each to show you. And I will go ahead and create the others at a later date um, so that I can get them all done. No, you haven't got this one yet? Oh, okay, no worries. It is a beautiful one. All right, so that's our sentiment stamped. Um, we'll give those stamps a little clean. dry them off on our paper. I always like to tap off the extra glue, uh, extra glue, <laughs> extra ink, I should say, sorry, on um, scrap paper first before I clean them, just to, it, it just takes less ink then to your chamois. All right. Oh, I can see that my camera has sunken a little bit. So that is why I keep going off camera. Okay. Let me straighten that up. Sorry about that, everybody. I'll just tighten up all of my clamps here so that it mustn't be quite tight. That one, I think. There we go. Sorry, you've all come down very close to the desk there. Um, let me go back here. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, the next step is to stamp our leaf on the inside and our sentiment. So we'll do that. Turn over to the inside. Oh, this one's got a little bit of a something, something there. That will probably rub off with an eraser, actually. Is that... Hang on, which way have I got that? That way? That way. I'm just thinking which way. Oh, this one's at the top. Is that right? Yes. That one's at the top. Let's have a look on the other ones too to see if they are oh yeah they're printed this one is has the leaf printed at the top so that's the front of your card or oh, actually waiting wait waiting waiting no it's not because this card is landscape i didn't look beyond that first step so make sure you double check <laughs> this card is actually a landscape card so that will mean that your leaf is still going to be in that bottom corner Lucky I looked ahead. All right, so I'll just burnish that fold so that we get that nice and crisp. Lucky I opened up the instructions and looked looked ahead, which I probably should have done ahead of time. Um, when I referred back to the um, back to the front, I would have seen it, but I might have already stamped my my uh, inside part before I checked that. So anyway, we're all good. We are back on the right track. All right, sentiment, oh, sorry, greeting. Here we go. So this is the one we used before. I love this. May whatever brings you love and joy be yours this season and throughout the new year. So beautiful. Okay, we're going to stamp that in here. Press that down nice and firmly. Oh, you're going to bed. 
Lena, good night. Have a beautiful sleep. Oh, you're celebrating. Happy Thanksgiving Day. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. And thank you for popping in. It was lovely to have you here. Feel free to come back and watch the replay. All right, there we go. And we'll stamp that small leaf again. So I'll just change over my stamps here on my blocks. We'll put the leaves back on. Okay, so I'm just going to put these again on the paper. And uh, oh, you're welcome, Lena. There we go. Okay, and this one. There we go. Clean our sentiment. Keep that in good order. There we go. Okay, so that one's nice and clean. All right, we'll do this little leaf. So I'll bring in my Pretty Peacock ink. We'll ink that up. See if I can line this up a bit better this time. Try and get the right angle. There we go. Oh, it's a bit better. Still a bit off, but I, th I like that look actually. So there we go. So we'll leave that open to let the ink dry. Once you've stamped that, don't close your card straight away. You need to let that dry. But isn't that beautiful? And this one is a great one for just doing the to and the from. So that'll be a nice quick one to uh, to write on. And then we're going to do the same with all of our leaves as we did with um, the, the previous one. So we're going to do the double leaf and then we're going to stamp the large ones as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll do all of the stamping now. So we'll do the little leaves first. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put that onto... Some scrap paper in case I go off. I don't want to get that ink onto my desktop. Get my head over the top there again. Okay, one and two. Has anybody else got this kit? Did I ask that already? It's a really lovely one. Two. Okay, pop that over there. We'll do all the large leaves and then we'll clean both of them at the same time. Whoops. Okay, has anybody else locally in Sydney had the storms today? We had um, some rumbles of thunder earlier and then nothing happened. My husband rang and said there's a storm coming and there's hail in it. And then he messaged me back a short time later and said, it's just gone north and there's now no hail in it, so you're all good. He was checking to see that I wasn't out in the car. That's what it was. That's why he rang. <laughs> Always. And I wasn't. I was at home. And then um, and then it seemed to just all dissipate. It, it is a bit overcast, but it all seemed to dissipate. And then... Amber and I and Callie were in the craft room and all of a sudden this big crack of thunder sounded right above us and all three of us jumped. Callie freaked out, ran out of the room, barking her head off, poor little thing. All three of us got a big fright and we thought, oh, here we go, here it comes. And then nothing, nothing happened. That was it. <laughs> oh, you've had it fee in the city. Okay. So I think it must have gone around us, I think. Glenda has it as well. Um, oh, you've got the kit. Wait, okay. It was your yes fee to the kit or to the storm? That's what I need to double check. And Glenda, I think you must be referring to the kit because you don't live in Sydney. I know that much. <laughs> you got this one, this kit last week. So you're yet to play with it. Ah, oh, good. Oh, you'll love it, Glenda. It's a nice one. It's a really nice kit. Oops, my piece just moved as I went to stamp that. Oh, no, we're okay. It's very forgiving, this kit. So if you don't get the stamped image lined up exactly with the printed leaves, it actually gives a nice effect. I like it. A little bit offset, actually. 
So if you don't get it exactly lined up, don't panic. It still looks great. There we go. All right, that's all our stamping done. Let's clean our stamps. There we go. Oh, the storm you, you were referring to, Fee. Okay. Um, you got the storm, a bit of wind and rain and thunder. Okay. No hail. No hail over there. It looked like, John was saying it looked like there was hail up in the mountains at one point. But um, it sort of petered out before it got... Well, we didn't actually end up get, getting the storm. We just got the noise. Just a bit of rumbling with thunder. Okay, there we go. Now we can put this one all together. Let's go back to our destructions. All right, we're going to put tape on the backs of all of those pieces again. Yep, let's do that. And we're going to put dimensionals on our sentiment label. So let's do that all at once. Here we go. All right, let's pop that across there. And look, this is tear and tape. It will tear. As, look, I'll show you. See, you can tear it. So if you don't have paper snips, that's okay. You can just tear it. But I'm a tape cutter. I always have been. I prefer to cut my tape. I guess it's just what I first started doing when I first started crafting many, many years ago. 20, how many years are we up to? 24 years ago. Um... Yeah, and I've just always done it ever since. I don't know if maybe back then the tape didn't tear as well as what it does now. Maybe that's why I used to always cut it. All right, so they're all done, and we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of our sentiment label. Three at the top and three at the bottom will be plenty. Oops, oh, that one didn't go where I wanted to, but that's okay. All good, all good. All right, so there's all of our pieces. And we've got our card base. That'll be dry now, so we can close that. Remember which way you're orientating it. Okay, so we are going to lay. So I'm following the instructions here. So we've done all of that. We're going to lay these like this at a diagonal and then the leaves are going to go right on top the extra leaves so let's take this off i feel like i need to burnish this again because now i've had it opened to stamp it's wanting to pop up again just burnish that make sure i've got it the right way yep whoops uh oh oh dropped it Okay, so these are going to go like that and that, but they're going to overlap. In the picture, it's showing that they're overlapping like that. Okay, so we'll do it like the picture. Which is that one. There we go. Who's crafting along? What are you creating today? Let me know in the comments what you're creating. Or if you're not creating and you're just sitting back and watching and relaxing and enjoying what we are making today. There we go. Okay, so those two sit that way, sort of diagonally opposite. And then these leaves, they're going to come in sideways. They're going to go sort of vertically like that in the middle there. Kind of, kind of sort of like that. Just having a look to see how they've got them overlapping like that. There we go. Probably could have put that one down a little bit to show a bit more, but that's okay. And we'll put this one up like that there. I wonder if I could lift that one back up. Probably not. Oh, 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 maybe. Maybe. I'm doing it very gently so that I don't tear anything. There we go. I did. I got it back up. Good. It hadn't stuck too much. I'm just going to angle that one a little bit more so that we get a bit more greenery coming down here. There we go. Beautiful. And then this one's going on top. Um, this kit doesn't have any additional bling, any additional embellishments, because we've got all of the gold foiling in the, um, the card front and in the labels, so it really doesn't need any extra bling. 
this is just simply going to be adhered over the top yep that's it that's just going to go over there just line that up try and get that sort of in the middle if i can is that straight there we go beautiful look at that gorgeous i could have had that still coming down a little bit more but that's okay I'll do the next one. I'll make sure the next one has a bit more greenery showing through there. All right, and then we've got our label for our envelope. So we'll get our envelope ready as well. And there is our second card. Whoops, I just dropped that on the floor. So there's the second one, and let's bring in the first one. So there is, although they you, you see them and you think, oh, wow, they look really simple. They look like really simple designs. They actually do take a little bit of time. Look, it's not difficult, but they do take a little bit of time to do because there's a lot of um, stamping that has to happen on each of those projects. But how beautiful are they? And that gold foiling is just stunning. Sorry, my camera is so crooked now because I had to fiddle with it when it um, dropped earlier. Yeah, so aren't they really just so beautiful? So there you go. So if you are looking for this kit, they are still currently available here in the Australian market. Um, so it's the Christmas Wishes Kit and it is currently discounted as well. Um, I'll tell you, I'll just flick back over here and I can give you the code. If you want to grab a pen, I'll give you the code and I'll tell you how much it is as well all right the ordering code for this one is one six double four zero one one six double four zero one it's currently on special for thirty six dollars ninety and you get eight cards so whatever that works out um per card plus you get the beautiful gold shimmer envelopes with them as well and then when you've finished creating your cards you've got all of the stamps left over so you can go on and create more card more um, christmas cards you've got the stamps you've got the ink spot you've got the block and you're going to have leftover adhesive look that's all that's all that i well i haven't created the whole kit yet so that's what i used out of two uh two cards so Probably most of the dimensionals and most of the tape will be used up, um, but you have all of those non-consumables um, left over, which is awesome. Then you'll be able to create um, more projects, more Christmas cards. So there you go. All right, well, I'm going to flick the camera back up face to face. So they are lovely, aren't they, Rose? I can't take credit for the design of these ones because I didn't create them. Well, I created them, but... I didn't design them so <laughs> but yeah it is a beautiful beautiful kit all right I'm just going to try and cover this up and flick the camera back up here we go I had a very dropsy camera today and I apologize for that everybody sometimes that happens if I don't do the clamps up quite tight enough everything just falls down and I don't even realize till it's happened because usually when it does that it does it gradually so it's um not so noticeable to me straight away especially when i've got my head down crafting so there we go all right so let's have a look up nice and close at these projects there you go how beautiful all that gold foiling look at that shimmery 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 it's a beautiful kit really is lovely yeah so i look forward to making some more of those so lots of uh, beautiful christmas cards are going to be going out this year so i hope you enjoyed that oh you're welcome leslie i'm glad you enjoyed that i'm glad you enjoyed that too rose and glenda thank you all so much for being with me well i hope you all have a fantastic week remember that um we've got the whoops i've got the uh the card buffet coming up um, for anybody who is in Sydney um, and you would like more information, I did put the registration in the comments earlier so you can um, go there and um, click on that or any of the other things that I have on offer are all there too. You can have a look there and um, 
yeah, navigate to where you want to go. Um, we've got the kits collection sale, as I just mentioned. Um, all of the kits collection kits are on special at the moment, so take advantage of those. Um, that is until the end of October, but some of them are already selling out, and we don't know if they'll be stock if they'll be restocked before the end of the um, special or not, because it depends on um, how much, like if the inventory makes it in time from overseas so yeah we've also got the starter kit special remember i um, spoke about that at the beginning if you'd like more information about that please feel free to get in contact with me you only pay 169 dollars and you get to choose 286 dollars worth of product in your starter kit then got to get an ongoing 20 percent discount up until at least the end of april um 2025 you can exit at any time there's no penalties you don't need to sell products, you can just purchase for yourself. Um, there's no pressure to sell or to do anything else other than just enjoy the community and enjoy the discount. But of course, if you do want to do more than that, I'm also happy to support you in that as well. Um, so there you go. All right, well, I will let you all go. Have a wonderful afternoon and a wonderful week and I hope you all get some crafting in there. So I look forward to seeing you all again next Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. Um, Australian Eastern Daylight Time. I'll see you all then. Happy crafting everyone. Bye!